Allah wants His creation to glorify Him, to remember Him. But He has chosen a formula. He has chosen a way. He has chosen a rule. And the rule is, if you want to learn about me, if you want to know about me, if you want to understand me, if you want to think about me, then first I want you to know about my beloved Rasul Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi First, listen to him. How can you go and knock on Allah's door when you completely ignore his messenger? It's like going to the bank and asking for money and in completely ignoring the bank manager. The bank manager will say to you, listen, I am the representative of the Ink Bank. I am the representative of Abi and Amro. If you want the money from the bank, you come to me and I will give you the money. The bank will give, but I am the agent. I am the agent through which you will receive the money. The doctor will say, first you go to your GP. Your GP is the agent for the hospital to do your operation. Your advocate, you have to use your advocate who is the agent for you to use before you go to the court of law. If you want to get into Allah's court, if you want to receive your, your blessings from Allah, then His rule is, I want you to first acknowledge my Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When you acknowledge him, then you will acknowledge me. I'm not going to talk about this subject. This subject is a long subject. If you love the Prophet, you love Allah, this is a massive subject. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just explaining the rule Allah uses. Allah states in the Quran, and I am speaking from the Quran, and I want you to understand the Quran. We read namaz every single day. We hope. Five times a day. Allah, in all your prayer, Allah loves these seven verses. You know Surah Fatiha? Surah Fatiha is known as Ummul Quran, the mother of the Quran. And Allah loves the mother of the Quran so much that He makes every Muslim five times a day. He makes everybody, men, women, children. Allah loves these verses so much that He makes everybody repeat them five times a day. And if you look at each verse, there is a message. Forget about the Quran. The Quran is a huge message. But seven verses can give you seven messages. Allah starts. Bismillah Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful. In your life, do you begin your daily activities with Bismillah? When you are about to do something, when you walk into your car, do you say Bismillah? When you walk into your house, do you say Bismillah? When you do anything, do you say Bismillah? If you don't say Bismillah, why don't you say Bismillah? 
Allah begins the whole of the Quran by Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The first lesson for you. Begin your daily activity, whatever you do. Start with the word Allah. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, whatever he did, he started with Allah's name. I was saying earlier last, a uh, few weeks ago, when we say inshallah, mashallah, jazakallah, alhamdulillah, when we say these terms, where did they come from? They come from the Prophet sallallahu Every aspect of his life, whatever he did, he began by thinking about Allah the Almighty. Your job tonight is to think. You know, tonight when I go home, when I get into my car, I'm going to open the door. And before I close my door and start the car, I'm going to say, Bismillah. Why? I could have an accident and I could die. But at least when the angels will come and take me, they know that this man, he read Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. He read, he began his journey with Allah's name. When you go to work, Allah's name. Say His name. When you go to bed tonight, say Bismillah. Why? Simple. Think of Allah. Because who knows? Tonight could be your last night. Tomorrow could be your last night. Today could be your last journey. Whenever you start to think of Allah all the time, then Allah starts to think of you all the time. Whatever I'm saying, there are verses of the Quran which will, I can recite and we could be here for a long time. But I want to just give you that message. The verses, the seven verses of Surah Fatiha, which open the seven doors of Jannah. Jannah, paradise is seven doors. And each door is open with each verse of Surah Fatiha. Ask yourself, which particular door do you want to go through? Do you start your daily activities with Bismillah? Then if it is, then you might be able to enter the door of Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. I don't want to go into the tashreem or the detailed explanation of Surah Fatiha because again, time is of the essence. What I want to tell you is this. Allah wants us, his community, his creation, to remember him and glorify him. And Allah adopts a formula. He has rules. We know the Prophet Allah makes that rule. He wants us to remember that rule five times a day. If you want to know Allah, Allah Ta'ala states, اِهْدِنَ السِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Ya Allah, show me the straight path. Ya Allah, show me the right way. Ya Allah, show me the way to you. This is where the rule comes in. Ya Allah, I want to lead my life according to you, so show me the way. We all want to do certain things, but we need to follow a rule, a line. Allah states, if you want to know the straight path, then this is the answer for you. Sirat al Sit on. 